everyone's doing it, then I don't really want to do it. I want to find another way. Hello my friends. In today's video, I want to share with you guys some tips on how to style thrifted items. Now these thrifted items are pieces that you find when you're thrifting, that you look at it and you think, no, that's too big. No, that's too long. No, that's daggy. No, that's too grandma. No, I like the color, but I don't like the shape. All those reasons that you talk yourself out of buying a thrifted item that for some reason you're drawn to. So these tips are not groundbreaking, my friends. Perhaps you will even know some as we work our way through the items. No heavy machinery is required to implement these tips. All you need is a pair of scissors and some imagination. My friends, I am wearing a vintage polo top. It's quite big on me, it's a size large. I loved the color. Yellow is just a very happy color and it suits my skin tone. I also liked it because here on the sides it's in a sweater fabric while the rest of the top is in 100% cotton. So it is quite long as you can see and the hem of this polo top is like a ribbed sweater material. And the bottom half of this outfit is a pair of vintage jeans but they are a little big. If I pull up my top you can see that the jeans they're quite roomy but they are an amazing pair of vintage I'm not sure about this brass detail hardware here but I'm not going to mess with vintage I don't want to remove that vintage detail however the length of these jeans are perfection for my short frame I love the shape also they taper in a real true classic mum style jean so to make these jeans fit around my waist, all I need to do is wear a belt. I know it is a no-brainer, but you would be amazed at how many women I hear in the thrift shops pick up a pair of pants or a skirt and say, oh, I love it, but it's just too big. And this belt, my friends, is thrifted and it was too big. So all I did was take it to a shoe cobbler and asked him to punch in additional holes for me. So I'm gonna feed it through the belt loops of my jeans so that I can cinch in my waist and make them sit nice and high because they're they're not sitting where they're supposed to be sitting because they're too big the crotch is too long here so the belts in and there's no extra fabric here on the crotch area now with this top what you can do is chop it with the scissors all you need to do is while you're wearing the top just get a marker and mark just below where you would cut it. But I don't want to chop this top because there is a seam detail that goes into a V and if I crop it, it may look a bit odd and I don't want to mess with this vintage detail here. So all I'm gonna do is grab the ribbed hem on the bottom, tuck that bit underneath my bra on either side. I'm going to tuck it under my bra in the back as well. Play around with it till it's nice and even and then just do a simple front tuck. So how much nicer does that look? It looks modern, it looks like it was made for me. These sleeves look okay, but if we roll them up, I think it's gonna look even better. I think that looks heaps better. And then with the collar, you can button it right up to the top to give it a real preppy polished vibe, just like that. Or you could be scandalous and undo all the buttons. Open it up like that. And by doing that, we've created a different neckline. If we just cut the bottom of these jeans and show the ankle a little bit more, and just by cuffing the hem on these jeans, we've made these vintage jeans look really modern. So now for the shoes, I think a pair of white shoes will tie in with the belt really nicely and the loafers will dress up this otherwise very casual outfit. So the before and after is quite dramatic. However, it's not rocket science. So next time you're thrifting and you see a piece that you're drawn to, just remember that by tweaking something that's too big or too long, you can make it tailor-made for you. Next up is this thrifted floral maxi skirt. I love it, but maxi skirts on my small frame are not the most flattering. I much prefer 
a midi length. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this very long, do you see how long it is? Into a midi dress, a strapless midi dress. So a maxi skirt such as this one with the ruched waistband, which also does no favors for my muffin top, I can turn this waistband into a kind of boob tube neckline and just like that my friends I have turned this maxi skirt into a strapless midi dress and strapless dresses are my favorite dresses to wear in the summertime because no matter what you're doing outside you're getting an effortless tan with no strap marks that's why I love them now you may be thinking that this dress is kind of shapeless and it is and I love it that way but if I wanted to change the silhouette of this dress I could belt it this gorgeous waist belt used to be my mum's so it's from the 70s and I think a nice waist belt preferably a thicker one and black of course you could even blouse this up a little bit if you like and create a shorter length add a pair of western boots or even just a tough ankle boot I'm gonna go with the white western boots because they're gonna pop against my outfit they're gonna bring out the white detail in the dress so this is my restyled outfit I have turned a maxi skirt into a cute little bohemian midi dress and I love it. I am definitely going to wear this in the summertime. Alrighty my friends, what would be the perfect accessory to complete this cute bohemian outfit? I cannot stop twirling whenever I wear a skirt or a dress. It's just the little girl in me. Of course, a gorgeous boho hat is going to totally take this outfit to another level. Have you ever thought about tying a vintage scarf around the brim of your hat? I have so many vintage scarves. I love them so much, I really do. And every time I'm thrifting, I always have a look at the scarves. I have so many here. I love this one in my hair. This is a new one. This one with little apples all over it. Look at this color. Oh my God, a navy one. I'm gonna tie this around my hat. Now you may be thinking it doesn't really go with the dress, but I think I can make it work. Fold your scarf in half in a triangular shape and then just twirl it around so that it becomes a little rope and wrap it around the brim of your hat. Just like so. Okay, so now for the true test. What do you think, you guys? Oh my God, I think I love it. I think I love that it's not exactly the same colors, but it still works. I love it. Now you know what to do with your vintage scarves. Now I wanna talk about camis. You know the little silk camis you find in the sleepwear section when you're thrifting? You normally find them in black and white or cream. They're the most common colors, but sometimes if you're lucky, you might find a pretty pastel or if you're extremely lucky, a printed one. So I am wearing a basic black one. So what the kids are doing these days, they're finding these silk cami tops and silk slip dresses and they're layering them with things underneath. I'm gonna leave that styling tip to the young ones. Now, if you're more in my age box, you know, between 35 and 50, 55, even 60, who cares, let's live on the edge and say 65. Then why not pair a silk cami with a vintage cardigan, my friends? I used to style my camis with blazers, but I'm kind of over that look and I think that a silk cami with a cardigan is just so much softer and elegant. I've chosen my blue vintage balloon sleeve cardigan that I absolutely adore and I am going to tuck this cami into my Levi's jeans. They are a modern pair of Levi's and I think a more modern jean works better because everything else is vintage. I think mixing new with old is just a beautiful styling element of its own. So for the shoes, I think I'm gonna go for a pair of emerald kitten heels, just for a pop of color, something unexpected and something different. These are also thrifted. So I think these shoes are absolutely gorgeous. And what I'm gonna do is cuff the hem of my modern jeans so that you can see my ankles because did you know back in the olden days, the men would go mad for a woman's ankles? 
turned a frumpy look into just a sexy look just by showing an ankle. So now we've turned an undergarment or a nightwear piece into something so much more wearable and if you had a cream or white candle perhaps pair it with something tan or chocolate. This is a grandpa cardi that I thrifted. I've just rolled up the sleeves because they're huge. Just by doing that I've turned a very masculine piece into something soft paired with something very feminine underneath and I've still got the same jeans on and the same gorgeous little kitten heels but that's another way for us more mature ladies to style camis you guys vests are very on trend right now it's very easy to thrift a vest if you look in the men's section now this is a men's vest and I'm wearing it just as is and that is how I want to style it. All I'm going to do is tuck it into my jeans. The kids these days are very savvy and they love thrift too. And they've jumped onto this vest trend. But you probably see them styled more over a shirt. I do love that look. And I wear that look. And I'm sure there's photos of it on my Instagram somewhere. Have you ever thought of wearing a men's vest? Not as a layering piece, but as a sleeveless top. Wearing a man's vest that's oversized and tucked into your denim with a little kitten heel. This time I'm wearing my little Paris black pumps with a little bow on the front. This is a sexy look in my opinion. In my eyes, this is sexy. I'm wearing a men's oversized vest as a top and I think it looks amazing. But say you do find a vest in the ladies section. I found a cream one, a vintage Katie's one. This is how I would style it. So this is a vintage shirt. I've had it for quite a while. I've decided to button it right up to give it a more man style look because my vest is so feminine. I'm not going to button up this vest and with the sleeve because it is a three quarter sleeve and it's a little bit loose I want to roll it up to give it a more modern look so that's how it looks rolled up once I like that it's more fitted and then loose on the arm so I'll do the same with the other sleeve just roll it up once where the actual seam is I'm gonna tuck my shirt in so tucked in is more my personal style I'm not gonna wear a belt with these jeans because they fit me well and I don't want this outfit to be too fussy I love the vest the way it looks and I love my little kitten heel so there's a different way to style your men's or women's vest when I see vests styled with the oversized shirt by all these kids all over Instagram for me it loses its appeal so then I have to find a different way to style it because I don't know why that's just how I am if everyone's doing it then I don't really want to do it I want to find another way okay I am losing the light and my hair is starting to go flat but I'm going to continue because I am having fun I hope you guys are too so I have on a pretty, one might say, daggy women's blouse. It's got shoulder pads, it's, you know, an awkward length, it's got a frill down the front, there's buttons missing. You know, you'd think, no, I don't want that. But to me, it was a treasure find because it's bright and cheerful. It will look amazing with some denim cutoffs in Hawaii when I plan to go next year. The missing buttons are an easy fix because I tuck everything in so I could easily take a button from the bottom and stitch it further up where the button's missing. But I don't think I'm going to bother because I love a deep V and it's created a deep V for me without having to do anything. These shoulder pads however need to come out. Will I be able to just rip them out? I think I can. I'll just rip that one out, toss that. Mm, this one's sewn more tightly. I'll be back. Okay, that's an improvement already. Now I'm wearing Bermuda shorts on the bottom. Bermuda shorts are my favorite, favorite shorts to wear. I think they are classic, timeless, flattering, age appropriate, dare we say that phrase, but there you go, I've said it. Because we women of a certain age all think it now and again, but I'm trying to get out of that box altogether. Okay, Bermuda shorts, they're quite big on me, they're a size 12. This is how big they are. There's a lot of room there, so I definitely need to wear a belt with these. And I'm gonna tuck in my shirt. I'm gonna go with a white belt again. Cinch in my waist nice and tight. I mean, look at all that. That's how big it was. I love a white on white 
moment. Okay, so now my Bermuda shorts, they're hitting me at a length that I find very unflattering on my body shape. So as you can see, they're kind of just under my knee. I would prefer these above my knee. So we're gonna roll them up and hopefully the fabric is stiff enough and it will stay. If not, I will have to get my hair straightener and iron it down. This will have to do for now. But there's a tip for you guys if you want to, you know, make your collars look sharper and your cuffed hems look neat and crisp, then use your hair straightener. It's just very simple and it works a trick. And I think that length is so much more flattering. So for the shoe, I'm gonna go for my Converse high tops because this top and these shorts are very feminine and I need a very tomboy kind of, I'm low maintenance vibe to this outfit. And that, my friends, is how I would restyle these pieces. You guys, I'm not gonna lie, I love this. I love it, I love it, I love it. There's a reason why all the high street brands came out with lines like boyfriend jean, boyfriend blazer, boyfriend shirt. It's because it looks amazing. And you know, us thrift junkies, were onto it before them because I'm sure a lot of you out there like me have been thrifting the men's section for years and years and years, way before it was even a trend. So this is a men's shirt, my friends. As you can see, the sleeves are just huge on me, but the shape of the shirt, although it is oversized, it doesn't overwhelm my frame. First, what we're gonna do is roll up the sleeves. You'll find that the sleeves on men's clothing in general is always, always much longer. I think I may even make this into a short sleeve shirt. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. This is why a shirt and denim is my go-to outfit because there are so many ways you can style it. And I love a long sleeve shirt because you can manipulate the sleeve into any length that you want. With the length of this shirt, so what I can do is tuck it in, which is what I do most of the time, but I'm not gonna do that for this look. I am just going to keep two buttons buttoned up. Okay, so now I've created a deep V and just two buttons here hiding my midriff, which I don't wanna show. So if I put my hand in my pocket, which I always do, then I've created a real cool, slouchy, boyfriend, low maintenance vibe. And these jeans are my Zara little cutoff jeans that I thrifted not long ago, and they are big on me also. So I'm gonna belt these, but I'm gonna use a black belt this time because A, I love black with blue and white. I love that three color combination. So I'm going for this belt with the gold hardware because you will see in a minute when I choose my shoes. This belt was my perfect size and it cinches in these jeans so perfectly. Three pieces that are thrifted, my friends. Vintage, vintage and high street, but thrifted. Okay, now for the shoes, I'm gonna go with my black loafers with the gold hardware because the gold hardware and the gold hardware on my belt will tie in nicely together and they're my two black accessories also. And I chose a loafer with this outfit because I want it to stay looking very androgynous. So very man style with the black loafers to tie everything together and elevate this outfit a little bit. And that, my friends, is another way to style your thrifted men's shirts. And if you want to show off your belt and your waist, what you can do is just tuck in a little bit of the material of your shirt and then it will stay there so that when you put your hand in your pocket, I mean, it looks great. But now if I don't put my hand in my pocket, the belt, the shape of my waist is peeking through and showing, you know, a bit of my figure and not, you know, this huge voluminous men's shirt which just covers everything up and I, Love this outfit. And that, my friends, is all I got for you today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video because I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys did too. And I really hope I see you in my next one.